This story is from the AITA subreddit and is titled, Am I the Astronaut for Wanting to Meet Up with My Ex While on Vacation? My girlfriend Lisa, 28 female, and I, 33 male, have been dating for five months. I had a vacation to Brazil with a few of my buddies planned way before I met her. And recently, Lisa purchased tickets and decided to come with us as well. One of my buddies, Alex, who is also going on the trip, is the cousin of my ex, Nia, who lives in Brazil. Recently, Alex told me that he was meeting up for coffee with Nia when we get there and asked if I wanted to join. To which I said, yes, Nia is aware that I am down to join as well. Nia and I met when we were 12 when she had just moved to the States from Brazil. We were best friends throughout high school and dated for three years while in college. We broke up when we realized we just weren't compatible as a couple, and she also wanted to move back home to Brazil while I remained in the States. We didn't keep in touch for many years after. Nia and I were friends for many years before we even dated. She is technically my ex, but more so my childhood friend. I am not trying to reconnect romantically or get closure or anything like that. I just wanted to sit for a coffee with an old friend who was a huge part of my life for so long. I told Lisa that I planned on joining Alex to meet up for a coffee with Nia in Brazil and that she could join as well. Lisa was livid. She kept saying things like the audacity. I'm not over her, etc. Look, Nia and I dated over a decade ago. I have zero interest in anything romantic with her. It just happened to be in the same country with an old childhood friend and wanted to meet up. I'm not trying to hide anything. I am even offering to bring Lisa along. Well, the trip is in a week and Lisa and I have been fighting about it. Am I the astronaut if I meet up with her? Okay, let's talk about this. Lindsay, yeah, says, wait, no, no, he offered to bring his girlfriend. So, yes, there is that. And I, I think that that proves some innocence here, right? He offered to bring her. I wonder if he secretly hopes she won't go, though. But if he legitimately has zero interest in anything romantic happening with her, why? I mean, he wouldn't care if his girlfriend were there. And and it would be safer if she were there because then she has less to wonder about here. She has less to worry about here, right? Uh, Jennifer says, it's easy to say NTA not being the involved party, but if, she, but if she's hurt, don't do it, OP. And that's the flip side of this coin is uh, if if your significant other, if you want to continue having a relationship with this person, you have to take their feelings into consideration. She's uncomfortable with it. You inviting her there should hedge against that, but she's probably uncomfortable with that, too. So it's Kobayashi Maru for her. She's uncomfortable that you go without her. She's uncomfortable that you that she goes with you. The only thing that's going to make her comfortable is if you don't go. Sergeant Max says normally I'd be suspicious, but OP's intentions feel legit here. Uh, it still comes down to, though, if your partner is not comfortable with it and you still proceed anyway, are you the asshole for it? And this is either a look, look, if if OP has invited his girlfriend, has has you know, claimed that there is zero romantic interest in in this at all. He's just reconnecting with a childhood friend. Um, then she should trust him. But the fact that they dated is making his girlfriend uncomfortable. They've been together for five months, so not a huge amount of time. Um, she probably has some insecurities here that are that are popping up and making it weird. But I don't know that there's a better way to go about this. I mean, you have he has the right to reconnect with an old friend. They've only been dating for five months. They're not engaged or married or anything. Not that this infringes upon that in any way, shape or form. But inviting her to go is the safety net. Inviting her to go is like the uh, you don't have to trust me. Come with me, Tanya. Yeah, you either trust him or you don't. But even if she doesn't, she can go with him to make sure it's all on the up and up. She's not willing to do anything about those insecurities, Angel. Yeah. Yeah, not even go to solidify it. She doesn't want to go because that would make her uncomfortable. And I, I understand that would be awkward. That would be awkward to go like and sit and hang out with two people you don't know, or at least one person you don't know who happened to date your boyfriend. That would be awkward. But it's also a childhood friend. So, OP, I think you're going to have to do some additional smoothing over here and you're going to have to make a decision at some point. Like, is it worth the pain that is going to happen here? There's, there's a, the potential pain of not seeing your friend, your childhood friend who you've known for many, 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 many years and haven't seen for a while. It sounds like, um, there's that potential pain. There's the potential pain of blowback from your girlfriend, not being comfortable with what happens here and her choosing not to go as a, as a sign of, of protest and then it gets even worse because she didn't go. So then she's going to interrogate you about the whole thing. Those are the two paths or you just don't. I mean, yeah, those are the two paths. These are either you go anyway and your girlfriend doesn't go because I don't think she's going to go. Uh, you can strongly persuade her to go and say that you want her there. 
maybe that would work. It just doesn't feel like that's the case here. Um, or you can give up seeing your friend, which is more important. You have to choose. I mean, you're going to have to choose at some point. Lindsay, maybe the girlfriend is trying to control her boyfriend by the situation. It's possible. And it's possible. I wouldn't go with him, but he can go. Nixter says, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it would be awkward if you were the girlfriend in this in this situation and somebody was like, hey, come with me to go have coffee with my ex. You'd be like, ah, no, I'm good. Thank you. Um, but then you also, by, by declining, you choose not to have that oversight ability to make sure everything is, is cool. And a vibe check would be important. We had another... We had another story that was not similar to this earlier, but but it was an OP who had uh, suspicions about a relationship with a friend, but declined every invitation to go to events where that friend would be around. And my point is, why the hell wouldn't you go so that you could validate the vibe check? If you had a hunch, why wouldn't you want to validate it? Why not? John Kays says, I'm sorry, but NTA trust issue. It's like putting a code on your phone. He isn't hiding anything. I agree. I don't think he could have done anything any differently here. I really don't. She's horning in on his trip. He needs to do what he wants. You know what? This is this is a good test for them too. And uh and for him, you know, he can he can gauge her ability to deal with the situation um as as an indicator of how likely these the relationship is to succeed. I'm not saying test her with this. You're going to do this anyway, but how she reacts to it will be an indicator that you need to keep in mind. 